Okay, this is charcoal. Charcoal is, is a plant matter that has been burnt off. All of the organic molecules have been sublimated out of there, and you end up with this black um, substance, which is charcoal, and it is filled with all of these little tiny voids. Now, the reason that they use activated charcoal which means activated means you 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 burn it off in without oxygen and it gets rid of all of the stuff that's in these pores and then that's called activated charcoal and that activated charcoal is a filter and you can they use it and they pour water through these things and all that stuff gets caught in there that's why it's activated charcoal it doesn't bond to well it does it does bond to the charcoal as well obviously because it's that one there it has four extra attachments looking for molecules but it, it, it's so dense with these holes that it fills in there and then bonds let me put it that way so it, they fill in there and then they hold on to them in all these little voids so they can take in enormous amounts of particulates and and the activated charcoal is in a con condition where it's given up all of its attachments and it's looking to attach to a whole bunch more stuff. And that's how carbon works in your body. That's carboxylation, carbonic acids, carbon moves. It, carbon is a mover. Carbon is based on carbon. We're carbon life. It's, oh, you're carbon. Organic is carbon. So well, why do you say that? So well, because everything that's uh, alive has carbon. So what does a carbon do? Well, it does this and that in your body. I said, well, what? And they don't really fully understand it. You know, well, it works in carboxylation and so forth. Yes, it moves everything around in your body. I've been talking about carboxylation, transition metal elements that hold hands and drag around complex molecules and little bitty molecules, glucose, vitamins, minerals, everything that your body needs to exist has to be delivered to every single cell. That's what carbon does. Okay, these are these tiny little microtubules that are all inside of plant materials. And there's different types of materials and there's different look at it, looking at them in different ways to the side and to the top and so forth. Now, you see these different patterns here? You see that? I, I get assaulted every day about, about my statements that Devil's Tower and the and the fibrils, the hex fibrils, are all from feet. The limestone basalt hex fibrils that are all of these make these plateaus, and you can see the actual hex fibers. The same thing with call, uh, Giants Causeway. Those are giants. Those aren't from from anything other than giants. Those aren't volcanic or any of that stuff. But they are not trees either. So here's what I'm going to tell you. What happened with trees is above the water line in the salt waters, they it, it destroyed the um, cellular matrix of you see these cellular matrix looking at it from the side you're seeing these cells looking at the top and you're seeing these cells they explode they're little capsules and that's the way a plant works these capsules can fill up and discharge and that gives it what they call turgidity it makes the plant stand up straight and when it has to bend over towards the light the turgidity response changes inside these cellular boxes the make the membranes the cell membranes and they get tight on one side and soft on the other, and a plant bends to the light. Well, because they are cellular little bags of, of moisture, they exploded and broke and fell apart in the flood. So there was really no trees above the ground. Uh, below the ground, yes, there was, uh, absolutely, and they were used for tunnels. You see that? <laughs> That's a plant cell tunnel. Oh, no, 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 it can't be Roger. Yes, it is. They were so exactly, articulately, perfectly made from nature that they could use these and these huge cave systems. They said, oh, there's 35,000 airwaves going into them. Well, that's the nature of the cellular nature of plants. And they are extremely perfectly created. I mean, they, I'm sure they sculpted these off. They might have been squares or whatever, but they, they, I'm sure they did some work in here. I'm not saying it was just exactly the way it was, and they made pathways and stairways, and, you know, no. They cave, uh, created those inside these networks. Same thing with that. We'll go back and look at them again, and I'll just point it out again, but there's the, that's the structure of plant matter cellularness.
All right, these are some more of the, you know, they, they obviously work these, but originally these were cavities that they started to excavate, and then they opened up a big tunnel through, and they, made, they had all these pockets already built here. Okay, remember the big one with the tunnels going down? <laughs> I don't know what to say. And, that, and, and it has all these air shafts going through there because that is the natural matrix of plant material. And here's the ones that you would see going that tunnel going through and they're on the side and below and so forth. Um, it's just, it's just, it was bizarre, I, I know. But these things were gigantic and they were huge and this is what cellular material in plants looks like. And that is why I discussed charcoal today. <laughs> I tricked you. It wasn't about charcoal at all. <laughs> Alright, these are tendons from creatures. These are the tendinous hex fibers that you see. They're made out of the exact same material, calcium CaCO3. And uh, there's also this fascially, which is fascia, which is kaolin clays, and I'll show you about that. And when tendons are, they are extremely tight, and when they cut and break, they're like a rubber band, and at the very tip, they'll get what they call a, a wrinkle zone. All right, that's the wrinkle zones that show up. Now, this is what's going to be at the Devil's Tower, and it's right here. You see these lumps off the side? It comes down, these lumps, these are straight, 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 straight. That's all the hex stuff, and then the ground here, and it's falling off of the top, and there's a big piles all around, but that's basically what you see at Devil's Tower. Now, I'm going to show you the proof of that. All right, there's the, the proof right here. There's the wrinkle zone I talked about. There's the red blood, the kaolin clay running down here and there. This yellowish, slippy looking stuff on there. That is the synovial sheath that covered each one of these are, are independently separated in your body. And they stay separated when you die and petrify. That is the nature of fascia. That's the nature of mud fossils. They come in the bodily organs that were wrapped in fascia. They isolate these things in death just as they did in life and these are those hex fibers your calcium carbonate CaCO3 with other mineral inclusions in there that's the break zone the top is what's called an abrupt transition and they break flat as a pancake all right here's what's showing the ankle twist as the fibers come down they twist around the ankle that is not a tree now up above here, if you look carefully, you'll be able to find the blood supplies at the top. That's the wrinkle zone. Okay, finish this thing off. What you should do is go up here on Mud Fossil University and take a look at some of the things. This is Giant's Causeway, Anatomy and Chemistry, conclusive. It is absolutely conclusive. Now, this was a video that I did a few years back under my old one. It was Mud Fossils, two words. Now it's Mud Fossil University, but I replayed this because it was pretty good. And it gave all of the details of, of um, Giant's Causeway, which is here in um, uh, Ireland. And I show all of the different types of the skin patterns and all the muscular patterns that are, are exactly like the, the, the um, patterns you see at... Um, um, you know, Giant's Causeway, and I, I know, and I tell all about, all. I mean, give all the details on how the tendons could grow, and how, you know, the different types of minerals, and metals, and, and, and molecules, and, and, and everything that we have going on. I show all of this stuff in great detail, so uh, I would expect, if you're interested, come up here and watch this, and this is, there's no question, it's true, so we started out with, uh, charcoal, but we ended up with giants.